First, though, Pima County planning for next year's election and security is at the top of the list. Thank you for joining us for 13 News Live at 6. I'm Brooke Wagner and I'm Dan Maris. For the first time ever, the Department of Homeland Security is giving out grants specifically for election protection and Pima County leaders are set to approve such a grant tomorrow. 13 News reporter Bud Foster shows us how they're looking to the past while planning for the future. Take our vote. It was a scary time for the Maricopa County elections workers following the 2020 election. While counting the votes inside, large protests were taking place outside. Some protesters actually walked into the elections offices where the votes were being counted and had to be let out by the sheriff's deputies. Against that backdrop, Pima County is preparing for 2024. We've seen this in multiple elections where you have masses of people showing up and protesting and even like uh you know th threatening or, or or threatening to you know harm these these public servants and which is absolutely unconscionable the department of homeland security is giving the county a grant of a bit more than fifty four thousand dollars to make the elections department more secure a small amount but big changes under the grant, the county will install bars on the windows in the recorder's office, windows which lead into an area where signatures are verified and ballots sorted. It will add bulletproof glass in the elections department door, which leads to the public viewing area where all the ballots are placed in the machines for counting. It will add cameras to cover what are now blind spots for the workers and install monitors so workers can see the parking lot and lobbies in real time. If this provides our employees any um, modicum of like reassurance that they feel more protected. Um, they have a big job to do and I just want them to be able to do their job um, and feel comfortable doing it. Many elections workers and elections directors have resigned recently because of threats to themselves and their families. So the upgrades are not just to make them feel safer, but to keep them on the job. Our employees, I feel, really have to feel safe. And we've had across the nation um, election departments get targeted in different cities, and we're not expecting that here in Pima County, and we don't want that. County elected leaders have provided more securities in the process in recent years to protect vote setters, casting a ballot, and the transfer of ballots. But this is a first, the first time to protect the actual elections offices. I'm Bud Foster, 13 News. Tomorrow is election.